folks. Here we go again. Y'all got a little taste of what Pretty and Pooch was up to uh, over the weekend, Friday and Saturday. But Pooch is back at it again. Here it is Sunday. And while he's waiting in order to watch the Cowboy game here in a little bit, if it's any worth watching, I'm going to get out here in the shop and I'm going to do a few things. Now we got in the car and go to church this morning. I noticed that back tire, the light was on, low tire. So Pooch is going to uh, see about getting a little bit of air in it, see if he can't figure out if there's something in it or not. But that's the first little project, and then Pooch has got to tackle something else. Dang it. But I'll let you know about that here in a bit. Let's first get on this tire. Yes, sir. I wasn't about to fire up the big air compressor. We'll just get that little one going. It's good enough for one tire. Yes, sir. Well, now that I got this air compressor topped off, that's all we need. There wasn't no sense in me firing up that big one. But I know this tire is my leaky tire. And I'll be danged. I think I just spotted the cause of uh, the issue here. I don't want to plug that thing because it's right on top of uh, the tread pattern. But at least I found where she's at. I'm going to have to get something done with that. So, But let's get some air in this thing so we can get that light off there. We'll let this thing pump up just so I can get that light off. And I bet it'll keep pretty from freaking out about it. But wouldn't you know it, I see that little nail right there. Definitely going to have to get that fixed. I don't know. I hate putting plugs in it, but sometimes that's your last resort. And I was kind of looking at these tires earlier. There may be, it may be about time for a new set, but Lord knows I don't want to do that yet. Just put new tires on the trailer. Yeah, I think that'll work for a while. At least till I can run it by and get her patched. But Pooch has got to get into something else now. And um, I really hate to tell Pretty what it is. She might get a little bent out of shape. Yes, sir. Well... My next order of business is going to be um, fixing something I broke. Now, granted, I didn't break it, but it's pretty wore out. Not that bad wore out, but I did break something. And I broke something on Pretty's John Deere. Now, see, that's Pretty's John Deere. And she don't like Pooch using it too much. For the very reason that I'm about to fix. Because Pooch winds up breaking something. But let me show you what I got to repair here. Yes, sir. Well, I don't know if y'all can tell what's going on right here. But um, there's something missing. And if you look right there, you can see a hole. And something's missing. Can y'all folks tell what it is? <laughs> but anyway, Pooch has got to fix that. Yes, sir. Have you figured out what's missing yet? Well, before we get off into it, y'all know Pooch needs to get himself some calm down. So let's go and get that lip packed with some good old Copenhagen. Yes, sir. Hmm. Mm -mm. All right, let's take a look and I'll show you. Now, what's missing from that deck right there is. Yep, a deck wheel. You can see that sucker has broke clean off. Now, Pooch was thinking about attempting to weld that back on there. Well, maybe it goes like this. 
yeah, I think it would have went like so. So that would have fit in there like that. But most of y'all probably know as well as I do that them decks ain't worth a the crap. They're stamped steel decks, and they ain't got no meat or no toughness to them. You might get about four or five years out of them if you take care of them. And this one here actually has probably got about eight years or more on it. But it finally broke off. Thing finally broke off at the weld. And being that it's broke off and took out some of the deck, I don't think I'm going to get that welded back on there. And it's going to be worth a crap. But Pooch got something else he's going to try. At least something he can put on there and maybe get another two years or so out of it. We'll see. Let's take a look at it. Yes, sir. Now, what Pooch has got here is a deck assembly wheel or a deck wheel assembly replacement kit. Now, it came with two different brackets depending on what angle, what pitch you need, and I'm guessing. And uh, this is how Pooch is going to replace this thing. He's going to, I believe I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to mount this thing somewhere right in this area. Of course, I got to mount it and attach the wheel and all to it. But that should give me what I need in order to get a little more life out of this thing. Now, I only use this tractor mainly to get into my backyard fenced in area where the dogs are because it fits in between my gate. It's a 42 inch deck, so um, it gets in there where I need it to. Now, any of the rest of the mowing, I usually use that 56 inch over there, that bad boy, or push comes to shove, I, um, I get the brush hog out. I don't like using the brush hog no more, so we're going to leave it alone. Pooch has got to fix this one. Yes, sir. Now, to spare you from all of the ruckus that went on with Pooch doing this, <laughs> just, just thank me. Because I did it while the deck was on the tractor. But, as you can tell, I've got it on there. And I had to do a little drilling, do a little finagling, do a little modifying. But I think it got it. Because, man, I sure hated to get rid of this perfect, fine, operating John Deere tractor. Because she's still got a lot of miles on her. Yes, sir. All right. Don't do like Pooch does and put your tools up. <laughs> yeah. Because I like chewing somebody out when they borrowed some of Pooch's tools and didn't put them back where he knew where they were at. <laughs> yes, sir. Good as time as any to have a cold snack. Shinerbach Oktoberfest. Yes, sir. We're coming up on the end of the month of October, and it's about gone. So if you want to find some of these, you better hunt them down because they won't be here long. Shinerbach Oktoberfest. Yes, sir. Well, now that we got our cold snack taken care of, it's time to pack the old lip again with some calm down. Man, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I still got something else to do out here before the cowboy game, if it's worth watching. But let me get her open and see 
And I'll show you. Uh, heck, what do I do with that knife? But maybe I can just rip her open. <clears throat> I'll try to rip her open. I got a knife right here. Well, you folks know that I just bought new tires and put on the uh, the camper not too terribly long ago, right before we went to Pine Cone Fest. And I thought, I'm going to protect them things when it's just sitting out there in storage. So I got a set of these. I got a set of these uh, UV protectant tire covers. Well, let's see how this might work. Okay, I think I see how they work, but I'm going to go put at least one on my spare tire because I don't have my camper set up where I keep it yet. Who knows? I may want to tow it out of here again before winter time, but um, let's go out here and get this put on. Yes, sir. Now, this is where this thing's going to go, so let's get her fitted on there. Just put that thing around it. Now, we'll look and make sure she wraps all the way around it. And she looks like she will. Okay. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But we're going to... Pooch has got this. All right. Yeah. Now I'm just guessing, but I think that's right. I don't do much, but anything's better than sitting exposed. Maybe there's another way Pooch don't know about. So let's double check this real quick. Pooch don't read instructions. Everything feels pretty snug, so we'll bring that, we'll bring this all around like this. I think that'll work. Yeah. I don't like that, but who gives an iota? As long as she's covered up, that's all that matters. Yes, sir. One of the next things Pooch needs to do is he probably ought to get this thing plugged in. That way the battery stays charging. Now, he ain't been in here couple times he has but since he parked this thing two weeks ago when we got back from pine cone i bet the battery is probably nope she still got juice but i do need to i do need to plug her in i need to plug her in to keep that battery charged let's get the battery and get her charged up what Pooch is going to do is he's going to take this cord, take it around over there to where the plug-in is, plug it in, and just let her charge while it sits here. Yes, sir. Let's go around here with this here cord, this here cable. Oh, and that sun's bright. Sorry about that. That sun is bright. We'll bring her around here where I can um, get to my electrical outlet.
Let's pull this out. Pull that out. Oh, I got to get the other part for that too. Let Pooch get the other piece. What Pooch got here is a 30 amp, 30 amp uh, reducer to a 115. I got my 30 amp plug there from my camper. I'm going to bring out just enough. I've got my cord here, my extension cord. I'm going to plug that thing in there. And I'm going to throw it up under there in case if it does rain, it'll keep it out of the weather. Now we got to go in and plug it in. Yes, sir. Excuse the mess of my shop, but, you know, when you got multiple projects going on, nothing stays picked up or put up. All right, we're going to get this cord here, and we are going to get her plugged in. Oh, I'm shaking you folks all over the place, but let's get her plugged in right there. If she'll go. What in thunder? Get in there. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to go back and make sure she's plugged in good. I need to clean this place up. I got too much going on around here. We'll go back around. We'll make sure she's plugged in good. Yeah. Check the light on here. Well, there ain't one on this one like there is my other one. But I'm pretty sure she's charging. Pretty sure. Boy, it's not too bad today. Yeah, she's charging. I hear that fan blowing on that uh, inverter there. So, well, I need to get back out, go out in this thing again before winter time comes. Pooch was talking about going and doing some truck bed camping. I know I am going to be um, in January for sure. But I'm going to get some in before then as well. And I hope to get this out at least one more time, if not two, before winter comes. And I got to winterize it. But um, we got a little bit of time still before the Cowboy game. So um, let me see what Pooch can possibly get into today on this fine Sunday afternoon. Yes, sir. What are you doing, pretty? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I need to give my poor birds some water. I usually come out and rinse that out real good, the bird bath. Make sure I got her settled where she. I try to keep this thing level. Rinse it out. Take care of your birds. Something. Something destroyed the bird bath while the bird feeders. Dang it. I'm going to have to get them some new bird feeders. Got to keep them fed in the wintertime. So we got some big old birds out here that like to use this as a bird bath, actually, instead of getting water. And they make a mess of this thing. 
Not only that, they splash all the water out. But there's a lot of bluebirds and redbirds. Blue jays. Little sparrows that hang out out here. Pooch likes seeing them. I think I need to bring this back just a hair. Try to keep it level and full. Probably ought to get out here and mow the leaves pretty soon. They're falling. Back over in that spot on the other side of the banyo, that's usually where I uh, keep the camper at. I have a pole with a 30 amp outlet. Then of course I have a septic hookup over there. I don't use a septic out here for it, but it's there if I ever need it. Or if everybody ever wants to come out of here and spend the night with Pretty and Pooch. They can stay in the camper and, you know, camp out here at Pretty and Pooch. <laughs> All right, that's done. Let's see what else. I'm pretty sure I'll be redoing um, Woody here pretty soon. As y'all could tell, his face melted off. I probably need to pull his clothes off and wash them and uh, see if I can't get him fixed back up. I miss seeing Woody out here. Keeps all the boogeyman away too, actually. Yes, sir. Well, uh, yep. I just don't know how much more Pooch will do today. So I think I'll just drink me one more Shinerbach Oktoberfest. Then I'll go inside and watch a cowboy game here in a little bit. But. We got quite a bit done this weekend. Pretty and Pooch ran the roads. We went to Hobby Lobby and did a little shopping. We went to Sonny's place, our son's new apartment. I told y'all it was out in McKinney, but it's actually Melissa, out in Melissa, Texas. It's a good haul from out here. Ben's, you saw that we stopped at a Bucky's, you know. Bucky's are usually for road trips. <laughs> so we went further enough on a road trip that we had a Bucky's close by. But um, we went to church this morning, had a good sermon. I shared it in my community tab if you folks want to go back and watch that. And it was really good. Folks should, actually. But, um... Pooch had a few, few things to fix around here. He had to fix that mower deck uh, wheel that he broke off. Well, he didn't break it off. It just broke off. The weld gave way. That rider has been here for a while. It's been put to work hard. And like I said, those uh, mower decks on those riding mowers, they're just uh, stamped, you know, sheet of metal stamped they aren't that sturdy they are if you take care of them but they will degrade over time especially with all the wet grass grass that bloat grows and gets caught up in there you know them things rust out that's what happened pretty much it just broke gave way it didn't help matters much that pooch kind of jarred a few things while he's mowing on it and i usually only mow with it in our back because um that's the mower I can get in through the back gate into the backyard where the dogs are. But um, got that done. Had to do some finagling. Plugged my camper back in. Hooked up the battery. And watered the birds. They're already chirping around out there like they've been dying of thirst for weeks on end. 
I do need to get a couple bird feeders before winter because um, I like to keep them fed. I put bird seed out for them. But this may wrap up a Sunday. It may not seem like a lot, but it was at least something. I do have another thing. Our Pretty and Pooch have one other item we need to address, which I'm wanting to. We may do that tomorrow. Pretty's off tomorrow, so I'm not, but I'll get home in time. We can tackle that project. But this may wrap her up for me today. Woo! Again. Mm -mm. I appreciate all you folks that watched Pretty and Pooch Running the Roads. I appreciate all you folks who are here watching this one. Pooch in the shop. But we'll definitely see you again soon. And I hope you folks all have a good week. Stay safe. Halloween's coming. If you get the trick-or-treaters out in your area, we don't. But if you do, give them a handful of candy. Yes, sir. But remember, everybody needs a friend named Pooch. And they call me Pooch. Everybody needs a little pretty in their life. And y'all saw her briefly. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you yes, sir. Again, here directly. Yes, sir.